Hey, hey, and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. This is Chad from Ascension Worship. And this week, we've got a fan request video. We're going to show you how to set up a matrix for a sub. Hey, 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 what do you say? Yes, it's that time again. It's Tech Tuesday. So as mentioned earlier, someone requested on a couple of my videos about how to set up a matrix for their sub, uh, specifically on a Behringer wing. They wanted to free up some of their mixes to be able to use for in-ear mixes. Um, and so we're gonna show that today. If you don't have a wing, still watch. I'm gonna try to make a lot of this as generic as possible, um, but we will be using the Behringer wing ad edit app um, today to uh, demonstrate what we're doing here. Um, so in today's example, I'm gonna show you how to set up um, a basic matrix mix setup for um, two main speakers and two subwoofer speakers uh, on the Behringer wing. First, you need to understand three types of channels. So one, if you look on my little map here, you've got your in, uh, input channels. So kick, snare, bass, electric, vocals, all the individual channels that we're plugging into our board, those then feed into a mix, in this case, a main mix. The wing has four main mixes. We're just gonna use one so we can do what I call studio style mixing. Everything we mix goes into our main, and then our main is going to then feed into our matrices. So we're gonna have two matrices set up today for a basic example. One will be for our mains, so this will be our mids and our highs, and then the other one will be for our subs, which will be our low frequencies. So within that matrix, we have a fader to control volume, but then we also have filters and EQ to help get the most out of the speakers that we'll be sending to. And then finally, that matrix is going to route out to uh, a pair of main speakers and a pair of subwoofers. Um, when we get to it, I'm also gonna show how to route these. Um, so we're gonna put our mains on the outputs of the board. It'll be outputs seven and eight, and then we're gonna take our two subs and put those on five and six. Now you can use one sub, two subs, doesn't matter, but for today's video, we'll be doing two mains and two subs. All right, so with that in mind, here is the Wing Edit app to show you what's going on. Uh, this app has been initialized. The only thing I've done is throw in a couple of uh, channel names on there. Um, so you can see channels one through 16, we have some basic um, band channels. They're all currently turned down. We're gonna go down here to where it says main and matrix, and that's where we're gonna do the majority of our work. Um, so those individual channels when turned up are gonna go to main one, that's the default. So let's go ahead and take main one, and we're gonna call that, I like to call it rock, because why not? And we'll give it a color. We're gonna set that main to a level of 0, 0.0, so unity. And then we want that to feed into our different matrices. So from the home page, we're gonna go down here to the very last uh, routing page on here, and we're gonna look at our matrix sends here. Um, we've got eight matrix sends. We're only gonna be using the first two. Um, as default, they are all set to post, meaning this is not lit up, so we wanna keep those post. Uh, we're gonna turn them on and send them at a level of 0.0. .0. All right, so now we have our individual channels feeding into our main. Our main will then feed into our two matrices. So we got matrix one, we'll go ahead and label that as our mains, give it a color. Matrix two will be our subs, give it a color. And because everything's turned down right now, we're gonna go ahead and just give those a level of zero. All right, let's go ahead and route those. So we're gonna go next to our screen to the routing page. Uh, up here in the top, you have your channels, inputs, and outputs. So we're gonna go to outputs, and our output group, as uh, it's already on here, is gonna be our local outs, so our XLRs. Um, five and six are gonna be subs uh, left and right. So over here, we have all of our different things we can feed into there. Instead of buses, we're gonna go down to matrix, I hit this little plus one button here. And we're gonna send sub left and right to five and six, and then main left and right to seven and eight. All right, so everything's routed. Um, now we can go ahead and start processing and then listening to our audio. So I'm gonna go back home, 
I'm gonna go back to our mains. Now looking at our main one, we have zero EQ or compression on here. That is intentional. We do not want to EQ our main mix. Instead, our matrices is where we're gonna do our EQ and our filters. So I've got mains, my matrix one selected on here. I'm gonna turn the EQ on. At the top here, this little cog wheel, we are going to change our low band instead of shelving. You can use any one of these, but for today's video, we're gonna do LR24. And we are going to set that to a frequency of a hypothetical 105. Now, moving on to our subs, we're gonna do the same thing, but opposite. We're gonna turn our EQ on, go to our little cog wheel, change our high band to LR24, select that, and give it the same EQ or same uh, frequency, so 105. So now if you look at this, we have opposite EQs going on here. Our mains are feeding mids and highs, but not our sub frequencies. On our subs, we are feeding the sub frequencies, but not the mids and the highs. At this point, you can go ahead and start leveling these out. So what I would do is on your aux page, plug in a iPad or a computer, Spotify, iTunes, whatever it is that you're comfortable with and play a song that you would like your band to sound like. So maybe that's a Hillsong track. You're gonna play that through, turn that up a little bit, and then go to your matrix page and start leveling out the mains and the subs to get the sound that you want in your room. Now, I would not, su I would not suggest turning anything above zero. Instead, you're gonna turn things down to make the sound the way you want. So if it's too bright sounding in your room, you're gonna leave the subs where they are, at least to start with, and then turn your mains down. If it's too subby sounding in your room, you're gonna keep your mains where they are and turn your subs down. If the whole thing is just too loud, you can turn them both down, but you're still leveling them out to get the tone that you want in your room. If you feel that you have to turn things above unity, go make sure that your speakers are turned up properly because ideally we don't wanna be turning things above unity in this situation. From there, if you feel comfortable diving into EQ, you can do so. So looking at your mains, if it's very harsh sounding, the whole um, thing sounds good, but it's just harsh, then what you want to do is take your EQ, a high mid in this case, and find where it sounds really harsh and pull those frequencies down a bit. If it sounds boxy sounding, take a low mid and maybe between 250 and 500, turn those frequencies down. Um, if it needs a little bit more top end clarity in general, you can take your highs and turn those up a little bit. But generally, that's the only thing that I would turn up. Everything else, you turn down the frequencies you don't need. On your subs, you can do the same thing, but you're gonna need to be a little bit more uh, surgical with it. Uh, I'm gonna make a little EQ over here and take my Q or my width and make it very tight. And if it's certain low end frequencies that tend to resonate in your room, you can kind of find where those are and then turn those down, again, being very tight with the cue. So don't go crazy with this, but make it to where you can take your track and there's zero EQ on the individual channel, there's zero EQ on your main mix one, you're only EQing your matrices and get it to where it can sound the way you would want your band to sound like. The idea is that that channel is going to be going to your online mix and your in-ear mixes, it's gonna sound great. If you can then get your band to sound as close to that as you can, then that's also gonna sound great going to those different mixes. So you're creating a baseline to work with. All right, guys, that's how you set up a matrix for your subs and your mains on Behringer Wing. I hope that was helpful to someone out there. Until next time, have a great week. Again, this is Chad from Ascension Worship. I hope this has been helpful for you and your team. Come back here every Tuesday for new information.